Welcome back to MZ English. Let's talk. I am your TEFL certified instructor, Mia St. Clair. Let's continue with verbs. Verbs are action words. They tell us about the past, present, and future. In this lesson, we look at the present tense. The present tense talks about actions that are happening now. Let's begin with three main verbs. To be, to have, and to go. To be, meaning to exist, to take place, to happen, to occur. When we break it down, that is, when we conjugate the verb to be, we get am, are, is, are, are, are. Am, are, is, are, singular. That is, there is only one of whatever we are talking or writing about. Are is also plural. That is, there is more than one of what we are talking or writing about. Let's add one more layer. Pronouns to help represent person. I am, you are, he is, she is, it is. We are, you are, they are. In English, we have what we call person, first person, second person, and third person. The first person singular is I, when we talk about ourselves. For example, I am Mio. We is first person plural because when we say we, we talk about ourselves and other people together. The second person, singular and plural, is the same, you. The third person, singular, is he, when we talk about males, men and boys. She, when we talk about women and girls. It when we talk about things. He and she sometimes is used to talk about objects. For example, a ship or a car or a pet. They is the plural of the third person, he, she, and it. So we say, I am you are, he is, she is, it is, we are, you are, they are. So, how do we use these words when we talk and write? 
I am mio. I am talking about myself. You are mio. If somebody else is talking directly to me. He is, she is, it is mio. Now, because I am a female, we use she is mio. We are mio. You are mio. They are mio. We do not say we are plural. You are. They are mio because mio is one person. I am a teacher. You are a teacher. He is a teacher. She is a teacher. It is a teacher. A teacher is a human being, so we do not use it for people. We use he and she for people. We are teachers. You are teachers. They are teachers. I want you to also think back to our lesson on articles. You can see it play out here. We're talking about one teacher we've used a. We're talking about many teachers. There is no article. I am an engineer. You are an engineer. He is an engineer. She is an engineer. It is an engineer. Remember, an engineer is a person, so we use he or she. We are engineers. You are engineers. They are engineers. Again, we can see our singular and our plural. I am six years old. You are six years old. He is six years old. She is six years old. It is six years old. It can be talking about an item you have had for a long time, like a toy that you cherish, a vehicle that you drive, a gift that was given to you by a loved one. We are six years old. You are six years old. They are six years old. I am gorgeous. You are gorgeous. He is gorgeous. She is gorgeous. It is gorgeous. We are gorgeous. You are gorgeous. They are gorgeous. Gorgeous to mean beautiful. I am on a trip. You are on a trip. He is on a trip. She is on a trip. It is on a trip. 
You can talk about a pet being on a trip with its owner. We are on a trip. You are on a trip. A group of persons on a trip. They are on a trip. Again, a group. I am on vacation. You are on vacation. He is on vacation. She is on vacation. It is on vacation. It again can be a pet on vacation with its owner. We are on vacation. You are on vacation. They are on vacation. To have, meaning to possess. I want you to notice that when we are talking about the meaning or definition of words, we use other words to tell us what they are about. Have, have, has, have, have, have. Singular, have, have, has. Plural, have, have, have. There's a slight difference between how we have broken down to have and how we broke down to be. To be in its own right is a little bit special. So we say, I have, you have, he, she, or it has. We have, you have, they have. We can see that the first person is, I have, and we have. The second person is, you have. Third person is, he has, she has, it has, and they have. To have. How do we use these words in sentences? I have money. You have money. He has money. She has money. It has money. We can use it if we're talking about something like a purse or a bank or a credit union. We have money. You have money. They have money. I have a bag. You have a bag. He has a bag. She has a bag. It has a bag. We could be talking about a store when we use it. Note also that we can say We have a bag. It doesn't have to be we have bags. You have a bag. They have a bag. I have sweets. You have sweets. He has sweets. She has sweets. It has sweets. It can be used for a store or a container or a bag holding sweets. We have sweets. You have sweets. 
They have sweets. I have the tape. You have the tape. He has the tape. She has the tape. It has the tape. It can be a draw or the holder for the tape or probably the store where the tape was bought. We have the tape. You have the tape. They have the tape. If you remember our lesson on articles, you will realize that we are talking about a specific roll of tape because we've used the article the. To go, meaning to move. Go, go. Goes, go, go, go. A singular, go, go, goes. Plural, go, go, go. So we say, I go. You go, he goes, she goes, it goes. We go, you go, they go. Our first person, I go, we go. Second person, you go. Third person, he goes, she goes, it goes. Plural is, they go. Notice that for to have and to go, the third person singular is the only one that looks different. So, how do we use to go when we talk and write? I go to school. You go to school. He goes to school. She goes to school. It goes to school. It may be a bus taking students to school. We go to school, you go to school, they go to school. I go to town once a month. You go to town once a month. He goes to town once a month. She goes to town once a month. It goes to town once a month. It could be a particular bus or van that goes to town once a month. We go to town once a month. You go to town once a month. They go to town once a month. Notice that with the word go or rather with the verb to go we have a preposition to which talks about destination or location that is a place where you are headed i go to the park after school you go to the park after school he goes to the park after school. She goes to the park after school. It goes to the park after school. We go to the park after school. You go to the park after school. 
They go to the park after school. I go shopping. You go shopping. He goes shopping. She goes shopping. It goes shopping. We go shopping. You go shopping. They go shopping. Which verb do we use? Let's take a look at the following. To be, to have, to go. I am him. To be. To be, to have, to go. Henry goes to market on Saturdays. To go. To be, to have, to go. The Girl Scouts have cookies. To have. To be, to have, to go. We are talented musicians. To be. To be, to have, to go. Terry has a blue bag. To have. Terry is singular. He is only one. Therefore, we use has. Third person singular. To be, to have, to go. They go fishing at night. To go. Let's look at a few more together. I am Mio. I have two sisters and three brothers. I am eight years old and go to the Ave Maria Girls School. Am. The verb to be. Have. From the verb to have. Go. From the verb to go. All of it singular because Mia is talking about herself. I am Mia. I have two sisters and three brothers. I am eight years old and go to the Ave Maria Girls School. He is Steve. He has four older brothers. He goes to secondary school. Steve is in form three. He has mathematics five days a week. Where are our verbs? Is from the verb to be. Has from the verb to have. Goes from the verb to go. He is Steve. He has four older brothers. He goes to secondary school. Steve is in form three. He has mathematics five days a week. We go to the beach every weekend. My family and I have picnics. We are very close. Go. 
have. Ah. We go to the beach every weekend. My family and I have picnics. We are very close. Sheila and Sammy are twins. They go to the Dame Poulet Louise school. Both are in the same class. They are 12 years old. Sheila and Sammy have art on Mondays. Ah. Go. Have. Sheila and Sammy are twins. They go to the Dame Poulet Louise school. Both are in the same class. They are 12 years old. Sheila and Sammy have art on Mondays. Remember that common nouns is extensive. That is, it is a lot. Learning a new word every day helps to increase or grow your vocabulary. That is, it helps you to increase the number of words that you know. Thank you for joining me in this lesson and I look forward to seeing you in the next.